Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 10 in Microsoft Fabric playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create shortcut for the lake house in the Microsoft Fabric. In our previous video, we have discussed about what is shortcut means and how it will actually work. So for a quick idea, shortcut is nothing but like an object in the one lake that will actually points to some other location in the external storage or it can be within the Microsoft Fabric as well. Okay, so to know more about what is shortcut, uh, try to watch the previous video that is ninth video. If you want to know more things about the fabric and if you want to sense what we are exactly discussing, try to watch all the videos in the same sequence order in the playlist. Okay, so first thing is the main idea for this video is to create this shortcut which refers to some other location for the lake house. So that means within the lake house, I will create one shortcut that will refer some other location of the lake house. Okay. So to do that, actually in the lake house, you have to go to that files and you have to click these three icons and select this new shortcut link that will help you to create the shortcut. Let me practically show you this to show this practically. Let me navigate to the browser. See, this is my fabric. Okay. So this is my fabric account. And I have already connected to a workspace called Mahir Demo Workspace. Okay, so to this workspace, I have already connected it. Okay, so how to come this up to this level? So firstly, you have to go to app dot fabric dot sorry app dot fabric dot Microsoft dot com URL. Okay, and then you have to click this Power BI icon here, and you can select the data engineering experience there. Then you will see this workspaces and from that workspaces, you can open your required workspace. If you have seen my previous videos, you know that all the steps, but I just repeated it for the better idea. So right now I am already inside the workspace called Mahir demo workspace. And if you see, there are two fabric items. One is pipeline. Another one is lake house. So there are two fabric items right now available in my workspace. So what I want to do, let me open this lake house. And inside this lake house, I wanted to create a shortcut and that will point to some location within the lake house only. Imagine that way. So for that, see right now, if you see, I am under the files folder and there is a folder already called data. And uh, let's see what data is there in the data folder. If you see, there is something called sales project folder. And if I go inside of it, I think I have some customers data. See customer.csv file. If I come back products data, product.csv file and then if I go to the sales folder, I have some sales data as well. So now uh, in this lake house, uh, I want to create a shortcut for this data. That means a reference point for that data. Uh, I don't want to navigate to all these steps, maybe at the file root level only. I want to have a shortcut for the customer product and sales data. So how to do that? So you click these three icons, select that new shortcut. And then from the internal sources, select this one leg because within the one leg, I want to refer some location for the shortcut. So select that and then, okay, so which one, le which lake house? So sample lake house, this is the lake house. Click next and inside this lake house, if I go to the files, I have data folder. If I go to the data folder, I have sales project. Then if I go to the sales project, I have these customers, products and sales. For all these three different kinds of data, I want to have a shortcut. So I can select these three by clicking the checkboxes here. Up to 50 subfolders you can select actually. Okay. So I selected this all these folders. Click the next button and uh, you can click this pencil icon here that will help you to modify the shortcut name as well. So let it be customers, products and sales because looks fine, right? It is similar. Customers shortcut will refer the customer data only. So let it be the shortcut names that way. And once that is done, you need to click this create button to create the shortcuts. Once the shortcuts got created from that shortcuts, you can access the same data actually. So let me click this close button here and you can see shortcuts are launching. Now, if you closely observe inside the files, I have customers shortcut products shortcut and then I also have the sales shortcut. And if you closely observe the icon there, you see that icon shortcuts will have a different icon. 
but data is a folder so it won't have that link kind of icon right so shortcuts icon will contain that link so now if i go to the sales i will be pointing to the all the sales file only see but these sales files are not available inside the shortcut it are it is available inside the data folder inside the sales project inside the sales folder we have that okay but the same thing we are referring it here via shortcut if you remove this sales data completely automatically this shortcut will stop working it won't actually show you because shortcut is only reference point to the data so actual data should be there okay so that's how the shortcuts would work so i hope you guys got an idea what is shortcut uh, and how to create a shortcut in lake house thank you for watching this video if you like this video please consider subscribing to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much